Finishing chapter 3 unlocks the Somnial, which we are only going to use for the most basic stuff, so forging, shops, arena, the well, cooking, and supports. Sorry, but there will be no epic gains or fishing this playthrough. But none of that stuff is unlocked now anyway, so we just have to get our daily dose of cringe from Fran and move on to chapter 4. Before the chapter starts, we got to choose who to give our two emblem rings to. You normally want to ensure units you plan on using have a ring so that they can earn skill points, so I'll be keeping Marth on Alir for now. As for Sigurd, I decided to start trolling immediately by giving him to Etia, since I don't plan on using anyone else from my lineup. Chapter 4 also introduces us to Saline, my favourite character in the game, who was a fantastic unit. A good unit. A, a decent unit? Look, she's alright, but regardless she'll be receiving loads of favouritism from me, and losing her will be my main source of anxiety from this point Just onwards. Be an idiot and she won't die, I suppose. She comes with Selica, and while she can make pretty decent use of our other emblems, I'll keep her as is for now since she's going to make the most use out of Selica compared to anyone else on our team. Thaline comes bundled with her two retainers, Chloe, an early game flyer who's a pretty decent investment candidate, but without said investment she isn't as strong, so we might not use her. And of course Louis, Engage's early game god. Now while he will certainly fall off later on, for now he is an unbreakable force of destruction who will most likely carry my ass through these chapters like he has for many Fire Emblem Engage playthroughs. This map has a tricky start with Chloe and Louis being trapped in the middle where they have to defend themselves from a few attackers from different directions. The main idea is to incentivize you to use Selica's Warp Ragnarok in order to have Saline go and help them. However, given this is an Iron Man, I have to be careful not to get Saline killed in that process while also trying to keep Chloe and Louis alive. So after number crunching it a bit, I decide to play as safe as I can for now with the aim of warping in Saline later. You're gonna have to wait there, sorry buddy. The Selica emblem Saline comes with is pretty strong at this stage of the game, mainly for the sheer utility given by Warp Ragnarok's mobility, though there are some circumstances where its other skill Echo can be helpful, like right here. And it can be used to get an extra set of chain attack damage, given the right setup. Yes! The Sigurd Etia has to be the most troll emblem combination that could possibly be made, but... Let's forget this. Turn 1 went just fine. But turn 2 doesn't start out too hot, as ETA misses a 93% hit. No way we missed that! We get, oh, we don't get doubled. Oh, we don't get doubled because of the beautiful, broken Fire Emblem Heroes rings. Luckily, the flyer can't get any kills off that. Meanwhile, Louis about to get overwhelmed, so Sailor needs to lock in ASAP. But we gotta make sure the guys at the bottom will be fine without her. Hold the fort here. The real question is up here. What, what the fuck do we do up here? Warp Ragnarok. Kill this guy. I've made a slightly risky play letting Saline get hit to get more damage, and while it was calc to be safe, goodness I was truly terrified of losing her this early. The thrill of an Iron Man is really something else. I mean we calc'd it, it should be safe. There's nothing could go wrong, right? Unless, I mean, I could be bad at math. I was gonna say, if she doesn't hit that, it is the most over it has ever been. Louis. How much damage does Louis take from this guy? Oh my god, he dies. Drink up. Alright, now. The real shit I'm worried about. If we go here and attack. 63% chance to break. If that doesn't go through. We are so fucked. I just want to point that out. If that doesn't go through, oh my god. 63%, 63%, 63%, 63%. Okay. He didn't land his either though, so we're fine. You straight up get killed, so we can't let you do that. Things are looking good until... Now, of course, you're next to uh, Saline, so you get increased healing. Saline doesn't die to this guy. No, 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 <laughs> no, she dies. Why did I move Chloe? Oh my god. Oh, wait, no, he's getting the loot. Oh, oh no. But oh, now no. he is a thief, so in theory, oh, no. he should just target the house. Oh, no. But I'm actually not sure he will. Oh, this is not good for my health. Oh, thank god. 
I mean, surely that chest isn't that good, you know? Luckily, he just goes for the house, so I lose 2,000 gold. But with DLC, that is a non-issue, and much preferred over losing Saline. And here we see the result of Saline's incredible growth rates. Please, magic level up, please, magic level up, please, magic level up. <laughs> Giving the kill. Clan keeps trying to keep up his rep, but it's too late. Bro has his spot on the bench reserved with Saline in the party. Just a bit of context, the last five limb games I played were FE12 and FE5 both of which are infamous for ambush spawns. So keep that in mind as you view All my right, following should... reaction. That's kind of it. We can end. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> genuinely I'm still used to ambush spawns, so I actually got genuinely terrified there. And here we have some ETA chip into a nice echo cleanup. To help you. Uh, but Lid should, should live. That's like what? What damage do you have? 16? That's 13 damage. Well, not even 13. No, no, it is 13 damage. It's 13 damage and no double because you're a Leer. Yeah, no double. Let's go. Let's go straight in. Wait, is that 35 hit? Oh my god, I should have looked. No, Ali's dead. Wait, is Ali actually dead? Oh no, they're, they're dumb. They're dumb. And everyone, we have another oh. clown moment from yours oh truly, god. followed by another save from the AI. The true carry of the run. Is this a clear boss? What is this map? Yeah, it's a defeat roading map. Okay. <laughs> oh, we destroy him. Do we annihilate Rodin? I did. Get, I did get overzealous. I will say that much. I got overzealous as fuck. But I can make this work. And here's exactly how. Yep. There we go. Thirty-one HP. Thirty-three damage. Fucking cinema. And now we just need to do the slightest bit of chip to the boss so that Saline can obliterate him and finish her very eventful debut match. Grabbing the first of hopefully many MVPs.